Hi Capricorn, welcome to SoapQuest. My name is Spence. Welcome back if you're a subscriber and welcome in if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. So today I'm going to talk to you about the week of August 16th through the 22nd. I'm going to read for you for that week. And we're going to pull a Gaia Oracle card by Tony Carmine Salerno. And I'm going to pull nine cards for you from the Art of Love Tarot by Tony Carmine Salerno and Denise Jarvie. Okay, so let's start with that. I'm going to go ahead and start shuffling your Gaia Oracle cards. While I let you know, the astrology this week is a pretty major thing. We've got uh, the second full moon that I've been talking about in Aquarius that kind of closes that last end of the parentheses of Leo season. It's the last week of Leo season. So that's why I'm using these love decks today because of course we know Leo season is the fifth house of romance, but this week we also do have the planet of love Venus in Libra, and Libra is all about partnerships. So I thought maybe talking about love might be a good idea. I thought I had a feeling that was going to be coming up. All right. Also, I did want to let you know that the um, that full moon happens with a grand air trine, which I think is really cool. It helps to bring a lot of clarity, a really understanding how to make a final decision about something we're letting go of or changing for the better. Right? That's what we're doing. All right. Here we go. One card for you from the Gaia, the Gaia Oracle for Capricorn. One card for Capricorn. Too many, too many, one card, wait, okay, hold on, I'm making a mess here, Capricorn, I just need one, wow, I really messed this all up, I did, I put so many cards in upside down, sorry, all right, Capricorn, I'll get it together for you, pull one card, I have to make sure that I don't have any other cards upside down in the deck, okay, <laughs> All right, Capricorn, one card for Capricorn, please. There it is. Fell out. Achievement. I love it. Capricorn, you get achievement. It says, keep focused on your dream. Keep focused on your dream. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read that for you in just a minute. But first, I'm going to go ahead and lay out your nine cards with the Art of Love Tarot. This is a really big deck. Let's see if I can even shuffle. And I'm only going to do a few shuffles because I did quite a bit before I turned on the camera. So just a few shuffles for you on camera while I lay them out. And while I do, why don't you settle in with me, Cap? All right, Capricorn, take a few deep cleansing breaths. Get comfortable. Get grounded. Put your feet on the floor if you can. Drop your shoulders. Breathe deeply into your diaphragm. We're going to lower that stress hormone, cortisol, bring up some serotonin and dopamine, bring that to the party, right? All right, cutting your deck, and I'll lay them out. Achievement, focused on your dream. I love that for you, Capricorn. You guys are achievers, that is for sure. Well, we might be looking at love here. Love and family, all right. Mm. Do you have a fire sign in your life, Capricorn? Somebody that rocked your world and changed your life? Is this somebody that you've had a difficult relationship with that you're considering ending? Or is this transforming? Maybe. Mm. All right, let's take a look and see what this is all about. On the bottom of the deck today, you have the Six of Stars, which is like the Six of Wands. This is certainly success and achievement and being lauded for it, right? Under that, the Eight of Stars, which is the Eight of Wands, so a surge of energy and communication for growth, Four of Pentacles. So this is looking really good. Whatever you have been putting energy and effort into, you're going to see returns success, surge of growth. That's what the words were on those cards. Wow. Actually, let me put those, pull those out right here so I can pull them easily. Okay, let's do this. We're going to go horizontally, then vertically, then big picture. So hang in with me, okay? All right, Cap, let's do this. Two of hearts. This is a card of love, right? The two of cups is always about two people who just get along really well, pouring their cups of love into each other, peas and carrots, 
that kind of thing, right? It's, it's peanut butter and jelly. It feels good. It's somebody you can be yourself with. But there has been a broken heart that's happened in the past or that you still have that you've really tried to understand how you got so heartbroken because you needed clarification. This is the Three of Swords. In this deck, it's called clarification. So this is after we've healed. The clarity that comes. Remember, swords are how, how we think about it. So in the Three of Swords, we have a broken heart because we think over and over and over, what did I do wrong? What Did he love me? Did he ever? Did she ever? You, it's all that. And it's, it's going over it and over it to the point where it really does hurt our heart. So if this has been a relationship that was painful for you in the past... Um, I'm not sure that you want to end it. I think it's something that is worth it to you because you've got the Ten of Pentacles, loyalty. So this may be a very long term with the Ten of Pentacles, a long term love, someone you've loved a long time, and you guys have been through it all. You've been through the good times, you've been through the bad times. All right, so this is a fire sign that I'm looking at right here. This person could be a fire sign, or they could just represent somebody who is incredibly attractive, has a lot of fire, a lot of passion, a lot of drive and ambition, and they, they just seem divinely inspired. This is someone very attractive. And either this person is in your life or you are embodying everything I just said. But either way, the relationship is going through a, a deep change with the metamorphosis card. This is the death card. And it's changing from inside out. Because perhaps it's been a bit of a codependent relationship in the past. I have the Eight of Cups here. And maybe in the past someone ended it and did walk away. Maybe that's happening now. But if it happened in the past, I think that you loved each other with loyalty and long-term commitment with the Ten of Pentacles. So it may not be over over. It may be someone left or walked away with the Eight of Pentacles of cups here. In this deck it's called codependency. So if that's the reason why you guys were separated or went on a break or broke up, it's probably because you just didn't know where one ended and the other began. Right? It's that love. It's that the love that it's like you can't be happy unless they're happy. You can't feel fulfilled unless they're fulfilled. So if something happens to them and, and they get depressed, you're depressed. It's that. It's just a relationship that is so much we that you forget what it feels like to be me. Right? It's that. All right. The bottom line here, we have the Knight of Stars, the adventurer. So maybe it became a bit noncommittal or you've started and stopped the relationship many times. On and off again. On and off again. But I think that you want commitment now to the point where you want to get your life together that in a way that makes you feel empowered and able to be who you are on your own instead of codependent with someone else. Or this person needs to do that so they're not codependent on you. Um, and you want this person to stop being so, perhaps, if this isn't you, maybe someone has been impulsive and you want them to be a little bit more stable. So when you count on, the emperor has his stuff together. He's the father of all the kings in the deck. Which means, you know, in the yang energy, that's somebody who has deep empowerment. Mind, body, heart, and soul. They know who they are. They have empowerment. And they, they're on top of things. They take care of an empire. They're incredibly responsible and caring. So, you know, these are very different energies, opposite energies. So if this person has been in and out, not reliable, and you really want someone reliable, you're waiting for this Wheel of Fortune to give you the breakthrough. And I think that that is very possible. I think it's possible for people to change. I don't think it happens very often, and I don't think it happens unless the person wants to. The person has to want to change, right? Like that line from that movie, um... I want to be a better man for you kind of thing. Of course, honestly, we need to be better for ourselves, right? But if you want to be in a committed long-term relationship, 
which is this card, the Ten of Pentacles or the Loyalty card, and you want it to last and stand the test of time, it has to stand through the test of good times and bad times, right? So if this person is more of a fight or flight kind of person and you can't necessarily count on them, I think you are considering um, the release. This metamorphosis may be the end of the relationship. Now, it's not called death in this deck. It's called metamorphosis. So it is possible that the relationship would change from codependency into something that is much more stable and loyal if this person is willing to change. That's truly what I'm seeing here. Now, it could be you, Capricorn. If this is something, you know, in the past you weren't sure whether you were all in. Maybe you had doubts and you weren't sure whether you wanted to go through, you know, forward with this person into, say, marriage, if you've just been dating, or if you've been together for many, many, many years, and you just felt like you weren't on the same page, that you were on two different trajectories, and you were growing apart, then, you know, it may be that you've been going through this time during these two full moons, or maybe for longer, where you had to have a conversation and say, look, you know, we can succeed at this. This is a lot of communication. So if you say, you know, if you've been talking, we can really succeed at this and grow the relationship and make it more stable. It can absolutely succeed. But, I, you know, you have to see me for who I am. I see you for who, who you are. And we accept each other that way so that we can become interdependent, not codependent. All right, let's go down the vertical. I see the Two of Cups. This is union. It's love. With the Queen of Stars, the Illuminator. This is someone who has divine inspiration, and they are on fire. They are very dynamic and motivated. So is this you, Capricorn, or is this the person in your life? And have they been sort of in and out of the relationship, a little noncommittal? Or is it you? Okay. Because I think that this is talking about someone who wants adventures. I mean, you might have a, you know, a fire sign rising or moon in your chart. And it could be an aspect of yourself. Maybe you've been wanting to play the field a bit. And you hadn't decided that you wanted to necessarily get married. And maybe you've been through a lot of good times together. But just recently, maybe since last year, 2020, you've been through a lot of hard times. And maybe you got hurt. And things really did change. And you've gone through some foul weather. And maybe you felt like you had to be the responsible one and take care of everything, right? But that was a sticking point. And perhaps you had to ask yourself, can I really go forward with this person? They're good in the good times, but in the bad times, not so much. Right? So... Capricorn, you're looking for loyalty. This is this is what you work for 24-7, seven days a week. I mean, Ten of Pentacles. You build a strong foundation that lasts. You spend your whole life doing this. It, it means a lot to you to have a strong base, a strong foundation, a financial foundation, a life that is well-lived and something that is dependable, reliable, responsible. You work very hard for that. So I think you do want this. And, you know, you don't want codependency. So it's very possible that with the eight of hearts, you walked away or they did. Because the bad times came and then the, you know, whoever wasn't feeling so committed said, I'm out of here. But I'll tell you right now, this can change. Wheel of Fortune, the breakthrough. If you really talk about it, with this eight of stars, this surge of communication, if you really discuss it and you bring it up and you say, look, I'm, I'm looking for loyalty, I'm looking for commitment, I'm looking for long term, which means through the good times and the bad times, are you in? Are you all in? Because if you're all in, there needs to be this metamorphosis here, this we need to end doing things the way we've been doing them in a codependent way and do it in a different way. Maybe you're the illuminator. 
Maybe they've said this to you. One way or another, I see for you Capricorn right now, things are going to change with the Wheel of Fortune. It's just, you must, I, I guess you're at the point where you're asking yourself, You know, is this person going to be in and out? Is it someone I can count on? Is this person going to be there for me to help me run my empire? <laughs> because something's got to change. So I think it. I think the ball's in your court, to be honest with you. Because on the bottom of the deck, don't forget, you have that success card. I think you yourself are very successful. I think you have a surge going on in business right now. Lots of contacts. Lots of back and forth emails. You're trying to grow back your nest egg okay and I think you want somebody that you can count on to help you do that which means communicating with them but if you do there's absolutely a chance here to achieve absolutely achieve what it is that you really want keep focused on your dream I didn't read that until now and I'm gonna read it for you achievement it says you will soon achieve a goal that you had set for yourself. Your hard work and persistence is about to pay off. Know that you deserve all the success that is coming your way. Quickly, or excuse me, quietly acknowledge this to yourself as you celebrate your achievements. Thank the earth and universe for the blessing and the knowledge that all you do is a co-creation with the higher powers that be. Then refocus your attention back to the task at hand. Do not lose sight of your original purpose and intention. This is only the beginning. Much more can be accomplished providing you, provided you keep focused on your dream. Remember what is truly important to you. It may be helpful to set a new goal. This could be bigger and even more fulfilling than you ever imagined. Like love, perhaps? Is that a new goal for you? To do all of this that, that I just read? with someone not just on your own okay here's an affirmation for you for the week Capricorn I give thanks for all the success coming my way all I do is a co-creation with my higher self and the universal light of love I keep focused on my dream what I imagine I can create I am grateful for all I've achieved so what is it that you're wanting to achieve with the person in your life because you have done some great things here and I think that you deserve all the rewards for all the hard work that you have accomplished and now I think you're looking at whether or not you want to share that with the person in your life and improve a relationship that I think has good potential and if it's a relationship that you know in your bones does not have the potential um, because this person is just a bit too adventurous for you in and out all the time then I think that you're going to be able to make the decision and tell yourself the truth of how you feel about this person and what you actually need in order to be happy either way your hallmark your of your so the hallmark of your sign is achievement and you are doing it you are doing it in spades. So now just ask yourself, what do I expect out of this? And has it become this? Because they're in and out. And when I really want this, someone I can count on. So I think that that's the change you're looking for right now in your life. Capricorn, I'll be here for you next week. If you want to hear your rising or moon sign readings you can go to my weekly readings playlist by clicking that little eye up in the corner and i will be here for you next week thank you so much take care bye bye